this is code.org and this is super important these are the examples for our interactive card they are so helpful so in the next few levels you'll be completing an interactive card here are some ideas don't forget to look at the code to see how they work so i'm going to just click on some of these and let's go to them so let's see this one this one's a flower card thanks a bunch pick all the flowers by clicking okay click 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 Ooh ah so what's going on there well we have the flower sprites created the vase is not visible to start vase dot visible is false and we're using a variable count to see how many flowers have been picked it's equal to zero right now so what happens when i click the mouse over flower one count flower is equal to count flower plus one so that's the counter pattern but we're just using a numbered variable for that so we haven't seen this as much but you can just have a variable equal to zero for instance and so zero plus one is one so now we've picked one flower we make it so that flower is no longer visible we move the x y to here right because it's not visible but we're going to make it reappear when they get all three which is our condition our if statement if that counts greater than three cool all right let's see this other one let's hit run oh this one we already saw and talked about in the last tutorial for the last section ah, cool now we get to see the code though so if mouse did move we were right about that the package rotates and oh there's a count so if the mouse is moving there's a count shake count and again we can have an integer we can have a variable equal to a number so shake count starts that's gonna drive me nuts starts equal to zero and then each time i move the mouse over the screen count goes up by one right this is the counter pattern count equals count plus one ah and then if we have shaked the package a hundred times uh all of this becomes visible so the presence visible uh no longer visible but the surprise one and two are and that sound plays cool and finally we have our bike one with our monster slash alien what's going on here well we're creating these sprites now if i here i'll look what do i have to do if key down space okay wow okay now if key down left okay left arrow <gasps> Woo. Woo. that's kind of cool too okay cool so that's what it's doing it's checking for those keys and it reacts accordingly neat all right let's now go ahead and yeah those are a bunch of good ideas you'll want to refer back to those as we go through this process onward